All right, for this build, you will need a quarter inch barb of any sort. You need two of them. So I used a T, and I'll cut that in half. So we'll get to that in a little bit. And then you need five pieces of half a centimeter, half inch nylon tubing, um, some two O-rings that are quarter inch inner diameter, half inch outer diameter, and an eighth inch wall. And then you will need an end cap for half inch CPVC, a spring, which I used from a soap pump spring. You don't necessarily need one from a soap pump. It is, I can tell you right now, it is 0.35 inches for the wire diameter and about four and a half active coils an inch and an outer diameter of 0.43 inches. Next you will need some super glue, of course. 5.3 centimeters of half inch CPVC. 5.8 centimeters of quarter inch nylon. Pipe cutters. Those are very, those are necessary actually. Um, and then half a centimeter of 3 eighths inch nylon tubing. 0.3 centimeters of 3 eighths inch nylon tubing. Alright, just a real quick diagram of what you'll be making is this is the push button valve I can hold it right here is your push button your rod and your o-rings are here which it seals against there's the air input air output alright first things first take your quarter inch nylon rod and your 0.3 centimeter length of 3 8 inch nylon tubing and insert this into the end I'm going to insert it like so Let's start by putting some super glue around the edge. Not very much. Put it inside like that. Push it down so it's flat. Set it, let it set and dry. Once it's dry, you can go on to the next step. Alright, second step is a lot like the first one. You're going to put some glue on the 3 8 inch nylon tube you just glued. And put it right around the edge. Some super glue and insert it into some half inch nylon tubing until it is flat once again and let that set. Alright, for the next step you are going to need some drill bits. I'm going to use a 564 7 inch and it's for my Dremel so since I use my Dremel so much I'm just going to use that. Um, so use that and then on the end that you just glued where all these black marks are is they are between the half inch nylon and the 3 8 inch nylon tubing so basically you want it to go through all the way through so air can pass through so I'll go ahead and turn this on and fill out each one once you're finished drilling that out you will end up with some holes they don't have to be really precise you just want air to pass through as you see it goes through both sides um, after that from this end you want to measure 3.5 centimeters and make a mark so let's go ahead and do that and that is here I'm going to kind of do it out of the frame that's alright see it in a few seconds it's about right there double check and there you go there's a from here is 3.5 centimeters then from that mark you just made, you want to measure one centimeter, um, which is about just about perfect. So there's your mark. You might want to do it all the way around um, because each half you're going to cut out a little portion on this half, but then flip it over and cut out another portion of that half. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to once again grab a Dremel. Um, I'm going to use this cut off saw and make a mark in there and then I'm going to sand it out with this kind of a grinder bit. Not really the tool for the job but it works. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and cut this. If you can see it. I'm going to make a mark here. Not too deep. 
just a little bit. Um, I'm also going to mark it right here. looks good on those little slits right about here and here which they're one centimeter apart. I'm going to go ahead and double check that and yes they are. Okay, so then get this grinder bit here turn it on and sand it down until it's even with the cuts you just made. So All right, once you finish grinding, I did both sides here. Um, here, let me zoom out a little. Hold on, okay, that's good. Um, if you can sort of see, this is a little groove, um, about two millimeters deep on both sides. That's what the grinder will do. So it will be a round tube and then kind of make a crater in and then come out. So that way, when this o-ring goes over it and this is pushed it's sealed right here but when you push it back the air goes through those gaps and out and then when the spring pushes it back it's sealed again so once you're done with this piece this push rod you can set that aside and you will want to take out your piece of half inch CPVC as well as a half a centimeter um, half inch nylon um, tube, excuse me, and you're going to want to insert this into the end here, which it can be kind of a challenge because the nylon is very tight tolerance, and they are both around a half an inch, so it's very rough. So in order to do that, I will grab a hammer real quick, just tap it in, like so, and then you're going to want to take some type any anything you have I'm using a piece of nylon tubing once again marked two centimeters away with a nail through it just so I can pull it out what you're want, gonna want to do is you're gonna want to push this in the end and I use a vise to push it in and that way it's more precise and controlled so let me move you over to the vise okay so here's the vise and the two pieces I'm going to set this in like so, and then crank this in. There's the line right there. You probably can't see it because the camera's kind of far away from the vise. But you just want to slowly crank it in until you get to the line that you marked, which is two centimeters away. And that should do it. Okay. Now the hard part is so getting it out again. So I'm going to grab some pliers and go ahead and pull these out. All right, so now I'll try and bring this in here, bring it as close as possible. Inside you can see the nylon piece, which is two centimeters deep. And then next, what you will wanna do, grab some super glue. And yes, I know my workbench is a little busy, or busy with stuff. And you're gonna wanna put some super glue right around. Here, let's bring it closer. The edge right in there so go around like that and go ahead and do that right now all right don't want to add too much but I don't, now you can see it's a little shinier that's the glue so go ahead and let that dry and once that's fully dry you can insert an o-ring all right now that this is dry you could take your o-ring and insert it like so Make sure it goes in the right end, the two centimeter end, or else you'll just have problems and yeah, that you'll just have to start over and that doesn't really sound like fun. Um, so I'm just pushing it in with a sharpie here. Uh, it works. So after that, you're going to want to take on one of the other half inch um, half half inch nylon pieces that are points of five centimeters long and insert it in the end once again which as we all know can be a challenge like so and do the vice process again that I showed you earlier except on this mark 1.2 centimeters away push it 
down until you're at the mark once again. That should be right at the edge there. And then you can move on to gluing this.